Hello, everybody, and welcome to your weekly Cappy Read podcast. This is your episode seven of keeping you up to date with all your literacy info, educational activities, tips, and tricks to improving your child's literacy. This week's episode, we are focusing on COVID. Yes, COVID, something that is still very real and super relevant in our lives today. What we're going to be discussing today is how we can get our kids back on track. Yes, you heard me right. Your kid has lost a lot of valuable time at school where they would have been sitting, reading, listening, comprehending and dictating throughout their day. Whereas now it has become to sitting down and looking at a computer screen. And let's be honest, we're no teachers. So yes, we're trying our best. But at the end of the day, our children are a little bit behind. But that's okay because we are here to help you out. So this week, our tips and tricks to helping get our children back on, ta- uh, back on track um, due to COVID is one. Designate 15 minutes or 10 pages to read per day. Your kid gets home, make him some lunch. After he's eaten, sit down and hear him. Or even before you go to bed, have him read or her read to you. Tip number two, get an alphabet for the fridge. I know it may not be aesthetically pleasing to those of us that love a good squeaky silver fridge, um, But if we get the alphabet for the fridge while you're cooking, while you're doing whatever you need to do in the fridge, or even make a rule that every time your kid needs to get water or anything from the fridge, they have to spell out a word. So let them take the alphabet and have a little bit of fun with it. Tip three, keep books or magazines or key cards lying around and ask your child for something. Ask them, oh, can you go grab the magazine and go read the first page for me? I read something earlier and I just want to recap it. Or if you get a message on your phone that's obviously not private and child-friendly, ask them to read it out for you in the car so that you're not obviously texting or reading while driving. Tip number four, let them read your shopping list. Go through 